Hey, what's happening YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day, or I should say great evening. Uh, I want to thank all my new subscribers. There were a lot, but I had four in particular that have some requests, and I actually have answers to all of these, so <clears throat> I'll make videos for them. First one, uh, shout out Kendra Pratt. Uh, my son Alex and I, we're going to do a video on Nero Caradinas. We have hundreds of Blue Dreams and Black Reallys and some other awesome shrimp that we've had success with over the uh, past year, I would say. And then uh, Donna uh, Care for Amazon Swords in a 10-gallon. I don't do the big Amazons. I, I do the compacts, and I'll show you why, because I have some in my larger tanks, and I want you to see just how even the small miniature ones, how big those can get, because their version of miniature isn't that's not a, a very good description when we're talking about plants, uh, especially underwater plants, because some get massive. Uh, spread them out or trim them up, whatever. Sorry. I won't edit that out. I just, I'll make the video. You get what I'm saying. All right. And then, Juliano, you had a specific question about uh, a type of filtration system and a video for me to watch. I'm going to watch that, and I know what you're talking about, and... I'd gotten to a point where I'd already made all my tanks before I started thinking about like under gravel filtration, but I'm going to watch that video you sent and give you my opinion on it. And then the last one goes out to uh, Stony Scapes. You want a tutorial on how to use that Fluval Aqua Sky, bro? I'm going to tell you something. It it is a pain in the butt. You're you're not alone. I had a hard time. I I was just doing manual because it has it has a menu for manual. It has a menu for auto. And it has a menu for Pro. And I, I was reading the instructions, and it was like a computer trying to give directions to another computer. It, it wasn't speaking human being to me at all. So I just fiddled around with it for weeks and weeks and weeks. I've had it for a couple months and went through every menu. It was a pain in the butt, but I'll show you what I learned. I mean, you can program it for the sun and everything to rise and set when you want and schedule like thunderstorms on certain days and that's actually a pretty cool feature so I set up a couple days where they just have chaos going on or you know but without the sounds of thunder but anyway so I'm gonna cut this and I actually have a question I'm always learning so I'm gonna throw a question to out to everyone I'm having some trouble with some coffee folia and uh, Anubias and I have Anubias in all my tanks but I, I cannot figure out what I'm doing wrong uh, with the coffee folia and I'm going to show you what I mean here so I'm going to cut this short flip it around maybe you guys can throw some ideas out there I mean I'll explain it to you so hold on a second Uno momento por favor alright welcome back so this is my 55 so here's what's going on you'll see Anubius all over the place Anubius Nana this is uh, Anubius Nana Congenus, and by the way, all the, that crazy thing of roots, that, that's all this. These things, those things just, I mean, they're growing a freaking underwater, just like circulatory system of roots. But anyway, so, uh, and then Anubius Nana growing up here, and I want you to look. You'll see right here is a rhizome with roots, and on the other side there was. That was a coffee uh, folia Anubius. They both disintegrated into nothing. And then look at this one. That was one too. I planted I planted six of these total. So three melted into nothing. This one was the very first one that I had and no issues whatsoever. It looks great. And then back there I have two more. And look, they are melting. See, one by one. And now Anubius, it's not uncommon that you'll get one and like one or two leaves die. But the whole freaking thing just dying off? I, I'm confused. And the nitrogen levels, like, you know, I keep the nitrates and nitrites, like, freaking booming in here. Look at the root growing off of this congenus straight down this log. I mean, this is, and over here, see how that one has clung on to the wood? And this one here, these are happy Anubias. So why aren't they doing this? I don't understand. My lighting is perfect. I keep it slightly bright, but I keep a bunch of floaters. So this is to dim out the light. And yes, right where I have the two back here that are melting, 
you know, one has light and one hasn't, because I was thinking maybe this is too shaded over here, and it needed more light. It's a low light plant, so it doesn't make sense to me. Um, and you know, and these too. This one's getting a bunch of light. This one's getting shade, like those two that died. But this one's doing perfect, and it was in the shade. And this one too. So I don't know. Toss a few ideas out there. Sometimes I can't figure something out too, and I'm, you know, I get perplexed. I, I've dealt with a lot of plants. Oh, by the way, my cryptocorn carpet looks freaking badass. Yeah! Some myoya. It's a little pile of parva I got going on. But like the old ones that I planted four months ago, they're getting freaking tall. Man, it's like grassy. I'm loving it. Anyway, thanks again. And uh, yes, I am working on those videos for uh, other people. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you're having a bad day, you're feeling down in the dumps, get up and do something about it. We'll catch you next time.